Alrighty, everybody, Blue Lock Chapter 233 just gave us some of the best Hiori development we've seen, which is a complete game changer, and in my opinion, for the rest of the series. We get new abilities for him, a newfound ego, and just plot changing events that'll affect even the final Japan U20 team. So I'm going to be going over Chapter 233, reviewing it, and then predicting what this chapter means for Hiori, his future, and his role in the rest of Blue Lock. Make sure to hit the like button as well, supports me a bunch, and trust me, this video is about to be a banger we're about to cook. If you don't already know, my name's Haru, I make a lot of other Blue Lock content just like this, so if if you're interested in that, consider subscribing. Sorry for no video last week. I got sick. No way around that. I, I guess I should have used Metavision to see how I was getting sick. My bad. But yeah, I post a video usually weekly, either these discussion videos, lists, or just chapter reviews. And I'm also starting to stream the new chapters for Blue Lock here on YouTube at Friday around 10 to 11 a.m. PST. We react to the chapter together, review it, and just discuss anything Blue Lock. So if you want an early discussion on the chapter or just to talk anything about Blue Lock, join those. But enough talking. I hate spending time on the intro. Let's just get straight into it. All right, I'm pretty sure you guys have already Already read chapter 233 or seen a video on it or maybe you were in my stream with me thank you for that as well so i won't spend a lot of time on this section i'm gonna summarize the chapter real quick and then head to the discussion which is what you guys want we're trying to get into the meat and potatoes here but i do have to give this context for the people who haven't read it which brings me right here the start of chapter 233 where we see hiori's backstory again and his terrible parents his parents were always coming second place in their competitions and gave birth to hiori so he can be the best striker through genetics so hiori has always had hard expectations on him and was only playing football to to literally keep them together. Yeah, the only thing his parents could get first place in is for the Worst Parents Award. At least they win in that, because genuinely, who does that to their child? It's the reason why Hiyori has been on a search for an ego his whole life, not believing in himself, or not wanting to set expectations on himself. Joining Blue Lock was more of just an escape for him, and we get a lot of flashbacks of his development through Blue Lock, like the game of Tag, the third selection with Nanase and Isagi, and of course the U20 game where he really showed his skills. Going back to the game though, Ubers has the ball and is currently playing at a different level, where they're all in sync, playing fast, playing playing good, and Hiyori, who's never played in an NEL game up until this point, is really feeling the pressure. Hiyori then monologues how Baro has a way of attracting people towards him. I mean, he pretty much took over the Ubers, dumped Snuffy on the side of the road, and then took it for himself, saying that what Baro is doing is what it takes to become the number one striker, and Hiyori simply lacks in those qualities. But somebody on his team who does have it, we all know him well, Isagi Yoichi. Because Hiyori is the only one who sees the game like Isagi, he's the only one who can unlock his full potential. And by taking advantage of these golden opportunities, he'll help make Isagi the king. Hiyori a little bit of a glazer, I can't lie. But at least he's backing up his words with his play, unlike one character. We see him enter Metavision, which is really cool by the way. I think this deserves a highlight by itself. The actual confirmation of him using Metavision like Isagi, with the panels being all grid-like, is just really cool. And by using Metavision, the Ubers who are about to get the ball to borrow in the penalty area, which is well with in his zone, Hiori intercepts the ball, finds his ego, and takes possession in this sick panel. I literally love this panel. It's genuinely just beautiful. Him cursing as well just adds because Hiori is usually a calm speaking person, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see him celebrate and pop off towards the end of the match like the other guys. That's how chapter 233 ends, so let's discuss the important parts of what we saw. The first things first is Hiori getting an ego. Hiori, the person who has been floating idly with Itoshi Sai level of passes and a big brain, now has an ego. If that doesn't already sound deadly enough, he's unlocked Metavision with his own egocentricism to help Isagi become the king, which may lead to the flow state as we've seen with Rayo and Nagi. Rayo had the egocentricism to help Nagi, and we see him drastically improve because of it, using Metavision to hit insane passes and 1-2s, and it was also his flow state, so I predict in the next coming chapters, we'll see Hiyori in the flow state. Maybe this will be the first time Hiyori will enter the flow state as well, in his whole career, because now he has a challenge, he has the motivation, and obviously he has the skills to back it up. So Hiyori flow state is incoming, which is super exciting, that's my prediction from this chapter, but now let's get into what this means for Hiyori moving forward. To take someone who can use Metavision, has Itoshi Sai level of passes, a newly awakened ego, and a huge potential for his flow state, there's no doubt you'd want him on the Japan U20 team. And I think this changes a lot. It definitely shakes up the rankings that are currently here because Hiyori doesn't even have a salary yet. Maybe he takes a starting midfielder spot over someone else. It just becomes a huge debate. You got an absolute plot game changer that I mentioned at the start of this video. Hiyori's potential as a midfielder is genuinely just crazy. I think this is the first time we've seen a midfielder use Metavision in Blue Lock besides Sai. Let's talk about Sai while we're here because wow, Hiyori Hiyori is actually in contention to pretty much be a Cyclone for Isagi. And we saw how Sai and Cheeto linked up in the U20 game. It was devastating, the best duo performance we've seen in Blue Lock, I would argue. And with his potential and unseen flow state and everything else I've mentioned, Hiyori is about to become a threat. Now, will he be better than Sai? 
Nah, no, no, simply no. We haven't seen Sai actually try or seen his ego or literally anything. And even Hiori Apple potential, I still don't see him beating Sai. But it's not as hot of a take to say Hiori will become the best midfielder in blue lock. And with all those qualifications in passing, metavision, and his new ego and flow state, it's no doubt that Hiori is an absolute game changer. Hiori is a huge threat and no doubt will be a top midfielder towards the end of blue lock. And we might even see him go against the likes of Itoshi Sai later on, depending on how far he develops. So I think in the next chapters, we'll see a Hiori flow state. And since he is popping off, I expect him to really shake up the salary rankings and be in contention for the Japan U20, even the starting lineup. I think I discussed a lot from this chapter, but if I missed anything, or if you guys want to discuss anything about the chapter or just the discussion, leave a comment down below. I'll be responding surely. Remember to join the Friday streams where we discuss the new chapters, or if you just want a place to chill, hit the like and subscribe button. Again, it supports me so much. You have my thanks and join the Discord if you want to discuss anything further. The link's always in the description. My name's Hario. Thank you guys for so much watching to the end and I'll see you guys in the next one.